chief of police for the city of Martinsburg, George Swartwood, his headphones must be unplugged or something. They must be. Sorry, good George. morning. Good morning to all. <laughs> I know you can hear me, so you're good. No matter I am. What. Yeah. I am. Good to see you, sir. Always good to see you all. And uh, it's nice to see that this is uh, happening again. The Lawn Safety Day, the Elks Lodge. I got a press release late last week that showed that this was going to be on Sunday. It was the first I'd heard of it for this year. Is is this back for the first time since COVID, George? It is indeed. Uh, my partner in crime here, Rodney Woods, uh, that is my co-chairman that helps put this on. And our pre- basically our president, our ER for the lodge here, Mr. Todd Gosnell as well, that allows us for the Elks to do this. Uh, this is the first time since COVID hit that we could assemble a uh, big of group as we do uh, for this and to put it on. So we're kind of excited about it, and it was a great time. Tell everybody what Lawn Safety Day is about. There are a lot of folks who have moved to the area in the last two years and weren't familiar with this, would not be familiar with it because it hasn't happened since COVID. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, what it was is uh, Rodney and I looked at it a long time ago. Our lodge was doing this before we ever took it. And Rodney, how long have we been doing this now? Uh, you have to grab that mic and bring it to you there, Rodney, too. 27 years george 27 years that he and i've been putting it on and uh, what it was is we saw a, a need and a want to give back to the community the elks motto has always been elks care elk share so we wanted to share our thanks to all law enforcement all safety personnel all firefighter personnel to just say thank you for the job that never ends is ceaseless just to say thank you for all you do in this community and to recognize them, to provide them a dinner, to provide them a plaque, some accolades from their peers, and a, basically a pat on the back at no cost to anybody else but the lodge. And we truly appreciate it, all of them, and we love doing it. And uh, Rodney, how do these folks get nominated and awarded? Well, we send a, an invitation to the commanding department chairs uh, throughout the Tri-County area. We represent actually Morgan, Berkeley, and Jefferson County, and uh, those uh, those. Uh, whether it be the sheriff or state police commander, uh, select based on the work that those officers have done in the past year. And there are some such touchy stories from that come, and only those commanders know what these men and women are doing uh, on a daily basis. And so we accept their nominations, and then we bring them together for a, a wonderful evening of celebration. And Todd, grab the mic and move it towards you and tell me what your role is in all of this. Well, uh, basically, um, I'm in charge of, of running the lodge as of right now um, and um, doing – we're really involved with uh, youth activities. We still have like $30,000 that um, we spent out in communities to ex youth, to veterans, to um, soccer, hoop shoots and stuff like that. Um, we're really big in the youth. Was 2019 the last year you were able to host this? Uh, we, we actually hosted it in 20, but we were unable to have the banquet. So right. we prepared all the plaques, and then the chief and I distributed those through the Tri-County area uh, to the officers, but in a not in a group format. The 2019 was the last banquet? Uh, the last time we got together, That's yes. Correct. Okay. Uh, Bill? Yeah, I noticed around 30 people that you have on your, your list. Uh, and looking at the list, they're, they're very impressive people, some which we know we hear of quite a bit, mm-hmm. but others we, we are less familiar with. But, it's, uh, but uh, I know several of them, and they're all very, very deserving people. They, they, I guess they have one thing in common. They put community first. And they're always going to be looking out for their fellow man and the and the community. You know, it's an interesting comment, uh, Bill. The uh, the the men and women who work undercover, actually, this community knows very little, if anything, about. And when we do have the program, we really don't display their images because for their families' protection and for for the community's welfare, they're doing wonderful work. But it's behind the scenes, and this gave us an opportunity in a limited environment to uh, acknowledge that. I'm going to. It's always dangerous, and it's it's unfair to uh, mention one person in particular. But I'm going to break that rule uh, because uh, you have Mike Lang, who's in charge of court security. I don't know. If, there's not many people in the county that works harder for the county on so many different fronts as what Mike does. So, so I rec- I'm glad you recognize him. Well, he 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 was one of the presenters yeah. to to recognize his okay. person. Yeah. But I will have to tell you this personal story, Bill. When he got up to to speak last night he pointed his finger at me and he said i went through rodney woods's correction program 
<laughs> and, and he did. Yeah. And I, I, I just thought, of course, I, I knew you all had a good yeah. relationship. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good man. One of the things, the part of that story that he's not saying that I really thought was touching is that, uh, and I agree with you, sir, I, uh, Mike is just a tremendous person. He's also one of our civil service commissioners as yes, well. So he, he is, takes yeah. a lot of roles on in this community. He's just a class act and a great guy. But when he was talking, he said, Rodney, he talked to Rodney later at one point, and he said, Rodney asked him, said, well, did you do it? Like, and he said, well, I don't know about that, but I certainly remember it. <laughs> John Gilstrap. I am looking at this program, and it's such a, a, a broad field, everything from the U.S. Attorney's Office to the 167th Airlift Wing, as well as police and fire. What was the criteria for nomination on to, to, to be a part of this? Well, usually as chief, of the, as chief of police, we pick our most standout officer. That's what we do. Or a civilian. We can use It's not necessarily too. a valor award. No, no, it's for the most standout officer that does something above and beyond, just answering calls and going to service. What, what it is is somebody that just excels in their field at what they're doing. Ours uh, was Patrolman Dalton Condo. He, he's a canine officer that we have. And I got to tell you, his numbers were just phenomenal. He's slaying drug dealers. I mean, he's just going out after him day in, day out with his dog, with search warrants, with the task force, with uh, patrol and with our cert team. And he, he leads a rest with our cert team that's out there. And he's just a tremendous officer. So that, that was an easy one. And the officers around me, my lieutenants and captain, they agreed with it. They said, absolutely. He's by far the standout for today. But, but we saw so many good, good people there. The FBI talking about the task force, talking about what, one of the things Jeff Caesar, and he's supervisory special agent in charge. He's, he's out at the task force as well. He said all of, the, all of the awards, accolades, and plaques that the FBI could give to somebody pales in comparison to what the Elks does with it. This is more accepted. This plaque, this award is more accepted by our people than anything we could give them. He says they'd rather have this than something from the FBI. And I thought that was really touching. So everybody was so well-deserving and everybody had a great dinner. I mean, we always have dinner. I had my shift. Um, I had the shift that was working uh, for MPD. I said, stop in and eat. And they did. Several of them came in and eat, ate. So that was really good too. So we got to feed everybody and we really enjoyed that. Rodney, what's the plaque that you have there? Uh, I have a plaque, and I, they may put it up on the screen. In fact, there it comes. Uh, we, it's, I wanted you to see what uh, what our plaques look like. They're 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 done especially, and I'll give you a little insight. Oh, you, don't, you don't have to hang it up, Bill. Um, he, oh, he's Colin's already got a picture. Yeah, he's got okay. it up. Okay, got it. Donna, who's up front in your office, mm -hmm. did these plaques for us. Oh, nice. In her business, and. Uh, I, I just think that when when the officers get something to leave for the evening with that they can put up on their wall either in their office or in their studio at home it, it thanks them a little bit for the long hours the holidays they miss the birthday parties they miss with their children and we're just it, it keeps us going it, it, it's it's so important that's a real nice looking plaque too. it is indeed that is pretty way to go donna that's great work <laughs> i recommend everybody get their plaques from donna Our, the, the hard part is when you put the ribbon on it and wear it around your neck <laughs> <laughs> weighs you down george you want to run or rodney you want to run through some of the winners from the dinner well i, I will uh i will say our, our guest of honor last night was uh william infeld from uh the u.s attorney's office and he did our keynote comments did a really nice job one thing he highlighted was the that's happening more today is that cooperation between all the agencies all those agencies you see on our list of programming uh, sometimes in the past were on their own but now they're calling each other back and forth he said when something happens the task force can get involved the state police can get involved city of martinsburg has a tremendous detective base and, and they're solving crimes Quicker. He also acknowledged the danger on the streets uh, nowadays, the, the weaponizing of the bad guys, for lack of a better word. Certainly. Uh, is uh, <clears throat> such a. It's a danger to the officers it's a, it's and to all citizens. To officers. Yeah. Hey, we've got about 10 minutes, so uh, what I'll ask you to do is go ahead and, and read the names in their category, mm -hmm. and then at the end, if you want to backfill a couple of stories that particularly moved you, Rodney, please do. But I, I would tell you to save the stories till the end, though. Okay. Um, condo 
the uh, Trollman condo from the city police was recognized. Senior Trooper Tom Bryant from over in Berkeley County, uh, Trooper Stephen Ross uh, from Jefferson County, and Sergeant Sam Smith from Morgan County. Uh, the United States Attorney Assistant Attorney General Laura Omps Botticher was recognized for her work using wire services. Uh, Cap Corporal Derek English, Corporal Tom Funk English was from the task force. Tom Funk was from Berkeley County Sheriff's Office. Deputy uh, Joshua Weaver was recognized by the Jefferson County Sheriff. Uh, Administrative Assistant Ronald Michael, Rhonda Michael, I'm sorry, uh, was recognized by the Berkeley County Sheriff Casey Boer. Uh, Deputy Court Marshal Ron Avey was uh, recognized by the court security system. I think that was Mike Lying did that. And Firefighter Paramedic Jimmy Miller was recognized from the Martinsburg Fire Department. And Firefighter Bradley Crow uh, was recognized by the Berkeley County berkeley county fire department that's the first time we've been able to recognize someone from the berkeley county fire services uh eastern regional jail sergeant juan yancey was recognized the 167th a very valuable part of our community recognized uh, staff sergeant uh, jesse trejo who by the way is saw signed overseas currently so he was unable to be there but i'll go down to the base later today and make that presentation to his uh, commanding officer. Uh, Corporal Charles Lynch was recognized by the City of Ransom's Police Department and Corporal Jonathan DeSarno of the Charlestown Police Department. Now, Rodney, I noticed that's the first Italian that got on there as a recipient. I'd like to see more representation next year. Well, it was a split vote, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> My, hopefully next time my vote can break that tie. <laughs> All right, now you had uh, the next page has some testimonials and awards uh, recipients and such. Are there other on this page you need to get to? Uh, if you want to refer to the... Uh, yeah, they, they the are the season. persons that presented the awards oh, to it or picked up the things. Uh, myself was one, uh, Chief Court Marshal Mike Lang, uh, Chief J.D. Hummingbird from the Fire Department, Chief <clears throat> Marty Roberts from the Berkeley County Fire Department, and Colonel Strider, we may, I care so much for him out the Eastern Regional Jail. Hey, keep your head up, keep in the fight. I know you understaff, but keep going. And I got to put out a few words to him. Master Sergeant Sean Green from the Airlift Wing. Chief uh, Ro Robbie Roberts had uh, someone stand in, another officer I had, uh, I believe, Sergeant Sigulinski stand in for him to give the presentation. He did a great job. Uh, Chief Krista for Kucher and from the, what is that, Ransom PD? No, I'm sorry, Charlestown PD. Those are just some of the persons that presented the awards, but it, it was so it was such a great evening, and uh, I, everybody everybody was so happy and pleased with it. And I one one of the things that touched my heart is that uh, Sheriff Casey Board, we've known each other the whole time uh, when he was here. He's actually got more time on than me. And when I looked at his sleeve, I said, 45 years, 45 years. I said, I'm just a pup. I'm just a pup. <laughs> but uh, he kind of broke down and told a little story about myself and him. And so that was very heartfelt and very heartwarming. But uh, all the best to everybody there. Everyone who was received an award is so deserving, and their half units, their girlfriends, their boyfriends, their wives, their husbands, that stand by them through all thick and thin, that often don't get recognized, they need a shout out to. But it was just a great evening. You know, something you don't do enough of is to say thanks to these people, and thanks to you folks for saying thanks to these very deserving individuals. Thank you, and thanks for Donna for doing such great plaques. Way to go again, Donna. <laughs> Trophies Plus. They get in touch with their Trophies Plus. Uh, and some of the uh, the remarks from some of the recipients or their stories in terms of how they, they got these awards. Uh, Rodney or, or George or Todd, any stories stand out to you? Well, uh, one of the things that I kept hearing was a dedication to the job that that the chief would not have to say, I need somebody. He just mentioned it, and they get in line. These are the cream of the crop, but they're also representative of hundreds of other officers and service providers out there that will jump when the fire alarm goes off or an ambulance call comes in. Uh, some years ago, I had a medical emergency, and the ambulance attendant that showed up had gotten a plaque from us the week before. I reminded him of that on the way to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's, a, it's a community that's it's so ingrained. And I've heard Stubblefield, Mr. Stubblefield say 
this community is so giving and and he's right on and he's traveled the world and i've had an opportunity to travel widely our community is blessed to have these quality officers on the job and i, I believe i've been a member of our 778 elks lodge for probably 29 or 30 years so todd i'd just like to say thank you uh to the elks and everybody that helped put this on and for allowing us to put this on it means so much to our community our families and uh, I hope it continues in the future. Thank you, George. Uh, and grab that mic there, Todd. Thank you, George. Uh, appreciate that, and uh, we're glad to do it. Todd, how do you become an elk? Uh, come see me. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you decide to become an elk? Yeah, why did I? Uh, basically, because of my father. Uh, he joined, and then I got involved, and um, I'm enjoying being an elk. So. Just stop in our lodge and we'll get you. We'll get you signed up. What, what kind of service projects do you folks do in the community, Todd? Service projects besides obviously this great dinner. Um, hoop shoot. Hoop shoot. Yeah, hoop shoot. Um, soccer shoot. Fishing tournament. First fishing and dirt. Yeah, fishing derby. Um, what else? Man, there's so many. The veterans salutes. So veterans. Yeah. Uh, we do a lot, mm -hmm. and we donate a lot of money out to charities i know that when i came in uh in rodney several people in the town that i knew were elks i knew i wanted to join and uh chief anderson is the one that first uh, signed me up but when it came to the indoctrination uh, process of it his dad filled in for me uh i still remember that uh mr anderson said george if you don't mind i'd like to do that for you i said i'd love for you to do that so it meant a lot to me to do that uh to have donald anderson actually uh, swear me in for the elks and uh I truly remembered that and really enjoyed that, and I've been there ever since. I'm not leaving. Now, George, is it true that they don't normally paddle their pledges, but for you, uh, they made an exception? Oh, uh, there for a while. I asked the one guy who, and I'm and one of the the esteemed leading night when he was giving his speech, and he was looking only at me, and I was thinking, <laughs> man, what's this guy got? <laughs> you know, what's he got? But it, it, and I told him, I said, you read that so well. I said it. it it, it stuck with me the whole time he said oh really good i'm glad that i did so it was all good but the, the motto that i've always liked is that elks care and elks share so whatever we can do for our community that's what elks do and we're very proud of that well we, obviously the elks are a big part of this community as uh, are the people who are honored sunday night at this dinner and we can never say thank you enough to those folks and uh, one of the things I made sure to do when I started doing this talk show, George, is when I got that press release every year was to make sure I got you in here as soon as I could after the dinner so these people can get recognition. I know, and I tell you, R&R has been so good to us, Rob. Uh, you really have. You reach out each time you send, hey, can we get you on Monday? Hey, can we get you in at 4.30 in the morning? You know, so I said, how about, how about a little bit after 7 or 9 or something? But he's always done that, and he's allowed us to come out and recognize them even further uh, for all the greatness that they've done for so thank you and thank you for this station for allowing us that opportunity now after you retire george i presume you're still going to be attending the dinner for a while i will indeed yes i will indeed and uh i hope to do even more uh some other things as time uh, becomes available that i can do but i'll be around i'm still looking at something so i'll be around but uh, i'll i appreciate everything that you all have done and i'm so humbled by everything that this community has said about me i truly am thank you before we finished our program last night, we had 17 plaques that we were of individuals we recognized. We seldom can do this, but we did surprise the chief with a, a special honor award for his 27 years of dedication to this program uh, and for his love of this community and caring for kids in this community. And if you try ask him what he's what all he's proud of, he'll tell you it's not about him. It's about the members of his staff the members of the elks group mm -hmm. uh but we all know it's been my distinct personal pleasure to work side shoulder to shoulder with him for the last more than 27 years that we've been friends but especially this project because it touches my heart when i see those children at the, the banquet last night oh thank you yeah seeing our kids our kids out there and at this dinner that's everything all, and that's how i feel about every kid that's in our city and town and community they're our kids so we try to do so much for them but it was very humbling and i looked over at
Skip Shade, <laughs> who's also been an Elk member forever. And I noticed him. So I said, Skip, what are you sweating about? And it's because I asked him something. I said, you couldn't give me a heads up on getting a plaque, could you? He said, no, couldn't. I was told not to. So he kept his poker face, did not keep it well, but he did keep his poker face right to the end. And it was touching just to see them there. Congratulations, George. Thanks. And to all the recipients last night and to the Elks for doing this. Great to have the banquet back. First time since... 2019, before COVID, you can actually go to the banquet and attend it there.